What? Pull up the screen from the visual play. Sand by my side, composing like clay. Merging the photos beyond the typical day. 3D designs be crafting, never cliche. What? I sketch the streets and he fills them with lights. Layer on layer while our city. Hello yet again and welcome back to Compositing with Sam. This is episode nine. In this episode, we're gonna take this beautiful photo taken in Washington, DC. It's got kind of <laughs> an, uh, a tilt and golden hour in the glow glow in the back. Um, the tilt wasn't on purpose. I was on a crosswalk and uh, safely took this photo, which is why it's like this, but we're going to fix it. And we got to remove these cars as well because they are going to conflict with our new design. And obviously these cars in the lanes with along with the parked cars. So uh, this is in Photoshop and Photoshop's got this cool new tool called generative fill. And we want to see if we can get those cars removed. So let's try that. And you don't need to put anything. You could say, I want a unicorn there. Actually, let's try that. I a unicorn. And see what happens. Uh, just as an example. But if you put nothing, it's, it's probably just going to erase the cars. And that's what we, we want to go for. All right. So, uh, yeah, we got our unicorns. Look more like donkeys for some reason. But let's just, um, let's just erase that and then do generate. All right, so it's given us this option, uh, this option, and this option. The first one is definitely the closest to what we have here as far as just perpetuating the sidewalk. That's probably what it's gonna look like if the cars aren't there. The other ones, this is not what's happening here. So let's stick with the first one. And then we wanna do the same for uh, this, this car and this person over here. All right, so that looks good from the very get-go. The third one's okay, but I think the first one's the best. And then let's move these one, remove these ones. All right, so I think that one looks the best there. And then we wanna just do the same for these cars in the distance. All right, so I think this is looking pretty good as well. We can choose whichever one we like best. We still wanna show that there is an intersection or crosswalk. I think that does it. And generative fill can not only remove things, but it can add things as well. Like if we wanted to, obviously we did the unicorn example, but for, for realsies, if we wanted to do clouds, then we could do this and say clouds. All right, so that didn't do much, but in theory it would do that. And this, this is, um, and if you don't want it, you can just go turn it off right here, which we're gonna do. And you can do similar things like this with the magic eraser for the pixel or their online tools like Canva that you can do similar things as well. And this is just only going to get more and more ubiquitous. If you're watching this in uh, years past 2024, I'm sure you'll already know that. All right. So our last thing we got to do here is we want to rotate this photo. And so we need to go to, all right. So we want to do the crop tool. And then if we go down here, we can adjust it and we just want to make we have this grid and so that'll allow us to line up kind of the tops of the buildings or the crosswalk to make sure that we are kind of parallel with the horizon. And then we can say done. Now it's cropped in. All right, so now we went from that, um, I'll flash it up here, but that rotated image with the parked cars and blocking to this. I just want to, while I'm at here, I just want to remove this. This is kind of bugging me. It's just adding a weird artifact. So let's show that. So we went from this to this in a pretty short period of time. So hooray for AI, at least for now. Let's go back to that image so you can see the difference. All right, so let's save it out and bring that into Beyond Typicals. All right, and one thing that's kind of nice about this image is uh, we don't have to do any foreground or background. We just can bring the image in. So this is beyond typicals, obviously the default project, and we can go to blank and then turn off total width and then go to photo compositing, import new layer and bring it in. And then we go to rendering and then go to 4K. And as a note, these will always show up darker in, in beyond typicals than they will in the render, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, but we do want to kind of zoom in a little bit. Let's show 1.1. That seems to work just fine. 
All right, so I do have somewhat of a design provided by our own beyond typical or so I do have somewhat of a design provided by our own Brian Shrove here, Beyond Typicals, here Beyond CAD Incorporated, uh, made with Beyond Typicals. And so we're going to rebuild this and do some camera matching here within this scene. Laying down lines, lines. paving roads to modern feats. With my crew, the city's beat, pumping heart through new concrete. This design, this design, this design, I rock. Blueprints in my palm, we rewrite the block. City's rhythm in the plans, yeah, we craft the plot. A daily symphony with traffic that never stops. No detours, you captivated. Through neighborhoods rejuvenated. We lay the grids. Foundations where the future lives. For the vibes, it's the mix we give. From the soil, skyscrapers rise. Graffiti art that touch the skies Street poets spit while secret deals lock Asphalt canvas, we let our colors talk Shuffling feet, they groove to each block We chick Alright, so we've got our, our road built out And we've got it camera matched I'm going to save here I don't love the camera matching But I think this is just has to do with Kind of how this photo was taken all right, and then one thing I want to do here is we have this traffic going off here into the distance. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, add some more volume. And then at the end, I want the traffic to stop and cue because that's going to make it look more believable and reali realistic. So you go to traffic and then you want to use stop bar. And then we just want to extend that pretty much to the end. And that way the, the traffic will stop. And we can do the same here if we want queuing in the other direction. Then I'm also going to adjust these labels so we can see them as well. I did some editing of these, made them white and brought them down a little bit. And we're just going to do that a little bit more. So let's bring the height. Let's try 17 feet. And then the position we want to scoot that back. And then you say save settings as default, apply default to all labels. Let's go back to our camera. And now we can see those here. And I want to bring these bright bike labels down so that they match the other, the height of the other ones. And I'm going to take these trucks off the road and you do that by going to traffic and just scrolling down and just let's remove all the, the vehicles we don't want. And then we can also extend our queuing time if we want that to back up more by going to traffic and intersection timings and we just want to make that these all 10 seconds and then our shadows here there's there's no direct sunlight because again this is golden hour and the sun is um, kind of in the distance and so we want to make just overcast shadow over everything and we can do that by adding a building by going to if I can find it, assets Go into buildings and we can just add a generic building. And we want it to cover everything, but we want it to be really big. And then we can just hide model. So now we have our shadows and you can see it's dark, but we can go brighten that up by going to environment and then just turning up intensity. And hopefully when we render this, it's going to be a little bit brighter. All right, so let's start doing some test renders here. Groove to each block. We jigsaw the city every hour on the clock. We build it up. We break it down. All right, so this is how the final render turned out. I did a few more tweaks and I'm just going to check the time on this. This was about 24 minutes. And one thing I want to point out in the distance, you can see the, the sun's coming through. I could adjust it so that the building extends all the way out there, but I actually kind of like it because it looks like the building's peeking through between the buildings. And anything you can do like that to help sell your project is going to be very helpful. So this is Sam Lytle with Beyond Typicals, making, showing how you can composite very quickly. I'd love for you to check out our website, 
beyondcad.com and hit the contact us button. If you haven't, we'd love to do a demo with you. Or if you're a user, we'd love to kind of do some training and show you how this works. And I will talk to you in the next one.